Hello, everybody. Welcome to the EGL9 Turtle Beach Black Ops 2 Championship. Uh, we are over here at the feature stage. I am going to be joined by Calvinus from Deserto.net. He's going to be casting with me on this Prophecy versus Magma game. This is going to be the loser bracket round. This is loser bracket round nine. That round nine. And Prophecy uh, actually steamrolling themselves through the loser bracket. Obviously not performing as well on the days one and two of this event. But, you know, it's still not over for Prophecy yet. They could make a run all the way through the loser bracket. And uh, if they're on fire today, we could actually see them in the grand final. Admittedly, Prophecy have said that they haven't played enough. Like up in the run up to this event, they stormed I four I forty eight. Yep. But in the run up to that, they've been playing with their championship teams. Mm -hmm. Every like, I think it was Gunchi said every time they come online, they try and play, and in the end, they just end up playing cha championship team games for the world finals. So they haven't had much time to gel together. Yep. Which is why teams have been steamrolling them like in Pool A. They lost all their games. But you would think, you know, just the sheer individual skill of the players on Prophecy would be able to at least you know, not make them lose all their games in pool play, but... Yeah, but it's like um, in an interview that's going to be uploaded later, yeah. um, it, I think it was Bader, he said, we're a four, and individuals don't shine if a four is always working together. Mm -hmm. And this is the same case with Yeah, Prof. and I think that's also what people say when they play against Perico Dragon. Individually, they're all good players, but they're nothing special. Yes. But together, you know, they're, they're, they, they say that that is some of the best teamwork that they have ever seen. I think that was, yeah, that's a pretty good impact, by the way, the team from America. Yeah. So we're going to be watching Prophecy going up against here, against Magma, and off to a start. Prophecy did start on the less favored spawn, but um, as a majority of people that watch this map know, this this hard point is normally not where you see the game being made or lost. Yeah, this is one that is fully contested. Like, if your team is always rushing in, like, you can only have a hold it for a few seconds before it gets contested again. I mean, if you get a setup going against weaker teams, you'll see, like, they can't actually get to the hard point. But when yep. it's against harder teams and they know how to run, they know how to, like, fake and point, they can so just get in the hard point. So, actually, the kill streak seems to be quite dominated by Magma right now. But uh, what we're really going to see is the majority of the points come on this kitchen rotation, which Prophecy have already gone ahead and done. Gutchie's just going to try pick up a few of those stragglers over at the first original hard point. But in 10 seconds, we're going to be moving over to kitchen, and that's where we're expecting to see Prophecy get the majority of the points. Yeah, kitchen is a really good hard point to hold. I mean, what you do is you have two around the back, one in money, always looking out down pool side, and you'll have one looking down middle. And sometimes it can get very chaotic if you can't hold your shots down. But it's prophecy. They should have really good shots to hold it. Yeah. So now I, I think if we stay on board for Gunchi, with Gunchi for a little bit longer, I just want to see if the shot's on point today. Because I think if Gunchi starts to get hot, if, start, if Gunchi starts to get warmed up, then prophecy, it's going to be make it a lot easier for prophecy to take the series. So right now, prophecy bringing back a slight, of that point, a slight bit of that point deficit. But Magma now taking control of the kitchen. Yeah, Not, I just want no control. There's no control right now, but Magma is showing that they can give teams a run for their money. I mean, they were 14 seed coming in, yeah. and they've they've surpassed their seed right now. They're playing for top eight right now, and Gunchi just gets a nice two piece. Gets taken down by Pato, but he's done enough work for his team to get the hard point. So now they're going to have to be moving back towards the garage. Gunchi's going to get the last kill, uh, the last few points here, the easy points from this hard point. Seven seconds left, and that will bring them pretty much in line with Magma. Someone's going to be shooting him from behind. Gunchi just lets. It all, it's all over for Gunchi there, but now Prophecy seem to have early control over this garage hardpoint. The one that's actually really easy to hold if you have the setup. Gunchi picks up two from behind there. Good kills for Gunchi. Now he's going to be able to get in position and help his team out getting one Good more three, three kills. There. Moving on. Now, I think they're pushing in from Lamborghinis. They've contested it, but it shouldn't be too hard. There we go. Prophecy have eliminated everyone in the hardpoint. Now they've set up, making sure no one can get anywhere near it. So the, the, so the two big hard points where setup really, really matters is here yeah. in Garage and over at Basketball Court. No those, those are where the points are really going to be getting. You'll notice the more, the harder it gets for them to hold the hard point, the less they can rotate over to pool side and then get the basketball courts. So if Magma can just really contain them here, while like two contain them in this place, while the other two push basketball courts, it should be easy. But they've let Gunshi out, for example, and he's just taken down Pato, and he's seen another one pool, but that's been taken out by Swanee. Even though Magma have got this hard point, there's seven seconds left, they've really just conceded control to Prophecy, which is something they shouldn't have really done. Yeah, and now we're going to see Gunchi set up around this basketball hard point. They, they left those last few points for Magma to pick up. Gunchi needs to pick up that kill down to Rob, but he's already called it out to his team. They're going to be coming down the stair side of things. Let's switch off of Gunchi. Let's see uh, Swanee right now. We will switch over to Magma in just a minute. 
Uh, but right now, actually, it is Magma who has control of the hard point. So let's see what Magma are doing. I'm on board with Elixir. Elixir has some kill streaks right now. Elixir has a uh, Hellstorm. He, he's and very close. Strike. He's very close to a Stealth Chopper. And that, actually, that Stealth Chopper could cause big things to happen. But right he gets picked up there. Heard him go. A, you know, he's a bit upset with himself there. This hard point is contested. Prophecy still narrowly in the lead. It's a it's a it's a scrap fest right now. I mean, if someone gets in, they kill him, and then the other one just picks him off straight away. The thing about having no respawn timer in hard point, it makes it very chaotic, very fast paced, and yep. it's great. It's great. Well, it's enjoyable viewing, really. Yeah. So now we're going to see Magma try and get control of this hard point. There they are pushing him, but they've only got six seconds left. Just a few points they can be able to pick up before we switch over to that middle hard point. And here we go. The switch has been made, and this hard point is often contested, but you can lock it down if the time is right and your team are in the right positions. It can be locked down. But there you go. They use their kills. They use their kill streaks to clear prophecy out, and now they just need to set up and make sure no one can get the drop on them from either closed or open side. And there we go. It's going to be Kesmol pushing up these stairs right now. Prophecy now in the hard point. He's going to jump in, pick up Swanee. One more player in the hard point, spraying round, but it's going to be Tommy who takes him out, Gunchy onto Elixity, and then now it's going to be the Magma players spawning back towards this garage side of the map. They actually do just have a little bit of control over the hard point, but Prophecy's going to shut them down really quickly. 20 seconds left on this hard point, but I don't expect the score line to if change you, too could much. You, could you bring up the minimap quickly? I, th I reckon like every, you'll notice like, like 25 seconds or so, what would happen is Prophecy will, as you can see, they're going to start forcing the rotation. There's one person moving around the outside trying to get the drop on them to defending, but as you can see, what a top team does, they really think about the next hard point like 30 30 seconds before it's even come up because rotation and spawns are so important in this game so let's see let's go on board with excellence what most the people get in the well, well actually he gets go. two of he his own team two of magma but still a good start for excellence he's now got himself the hellstorm missile hellstorm missile is going to drop and there we go uh, it's going to be excellence excellence moving towards this middle hard point it's actually been the majority of the points for um for Magma actually off of this hard point. Yeah, I mean, Magma are setting up pretty well on this. But as you can see, there is a stealth chopper uh, like over the hard point. So things should turn really quickly. But uh, Excellence is just a one-man wrecking crew. He doesn't ma care who he takes out in this case. He's nading his own team. He's getting stealth chopper kills. He's yeah. just going off and right I think now. Even though overall Prophecy haven't been having the best event, Excellence definitely has. He's been having a, a, an event. Every single event he seems to play just seems to be Excellence at the event. Great kills there once yeah. again. He's still, We're, is he still yeah. on the kill streak right now? No, no I don't believe he is. But with so left. little seconds left and the stealth chopper was up, Magma should have just conceded that, moved into kitchen because there was no point in giving Excellence like more score yeah, streak. There's kills. no point feeding Excellence right now. Let's switch on over. Let's see what Magma can do on board with Elixity. Elixity going to pick up, try and pick up the kill towards the middle. Gets taken out by Gunchy, but they still have control over the kitchen. And now they're starting to catch up with Prophecy. This is actually a much closer game than some people would have expected. Obviously, 14th seed going up against the second seed in this tournament. Yeah, Prophecy. I mean, well, both teams are, on, are coming off a lot of momentum. And they're in LB9. They're deep in the bracket. And they're going for a top, and they're going for a top eight placement. And... I believe this would mean more to Magma than it would to Prophecy to place in the top eight because they're all emerging players, whereas Prophecy are all veterans. So they'd really want to beat them, cement themselves in the top eight, and hopefully get some prize money going forward in yeah. the tournament. Yeah, this tournament and, and and tournaments like it, Black Ops 2, has seemed to be the seemed to be the game of the young guns. Madcap, Josh, Xanity, both coming out, both performing really well during this game. They're actually over on the main stage right now. It is 1-1. Cloud versus Epsilon, but people are expecting Cloud to do really well in this event. Yeah. But Swanee there just picking up a two-piece. Swanee, one of the most accomplished, one of the older players in the scene, but he still he still has it. Excellent Swanee and Gunchy, they they still have it. Obviously, Tommy is probably the the younger player out of that team, yeah. but um, he's still he's still a phenomenal player. But this Magma team right now. Um, just looking at the scoreboard, if we have a quick look at the scoreboard. Well, Excellence is breaking his back right now. Yeah. Really? Excellence is that good at going insane. Four but, captures, but ten defense. But Pato, Pato's doing really well for his team. He may be dying a lot, but he's getting the kills. He's getting the kills that matter. He's on 26 kills right now. Highest for Magma. But Excellence is on another level right now, even though it's really close. I mean, there's only approximately 24, 20, 24 seconds in between these two teams. Yeah, I think Excellence is always just... He seems to be on a complete other tier to the majority of the players that he goes up against. No matter who the team is individually, they will get completely outclassed by a player like Excellence. But uh, as a team, his team just needs to be up on that same caliber. The communication needs to be there. 
But yeah. uh, here we are on board with Patty. He's going to drop this Hellstorm missile. This is more, yeah, this is more of a call out Hellstorm. He just yeah. wants to see where they all are so his team know where to defend. And it looks like it was middle to full side. But Excellence has just shredded Pato, shredded Alexity. He's got a nice little two piece there where he gets taken out by Kesmal in the end. But it's allowed Prophecy to get in that hard point and establish control. And with Swanee on head glitches. Yeah, that'll please. make it very hard for them to get down the stairs, as you just saw. There's a free piece by Swanee, just doing work right now. Four, yeah, he just, just gets all four. And switch on over to yeah, Swanee, Swanee is pumped alive. right now. He's rocking that AN94. He actually gets picked up there by the grenade coming in, but uh, a scoreline seems to be about 40 points in favor of the Prophecy team. Swanee's going to drop that lightning strike over towards Basketball Court, pick He's up two players, but there are still and one more player left inside that Basketball Hardpoint. Swanee's going to keep a hold of that lightning strike, though, just in case, because we all know it's actually those last few seconds of hard point yeah. where all hell can break loose. Well, I've been standing behind a few teams this weekend, and like when it's the lot, when they know it's the last hard point and everything's there, they just shout, "This is this is big kills, this is big points." Like they know every point counts in this case. That's why Magma are like so desperate to push. There's so little time left, but it looks like it was going to be mathematically yeah. impossible for Magma to win this game. So we now just reach that point. We're going to see. Possible. We're going to see so many wasted score streaks just come out they just want to get them out of the way build their kills up but i think prophecy would like to try and end this at 250 but i don't think they can it's no, impossible no, they can't now, it's now but let's take a last minute look at that scoreboard excellence as we said going absolutely insane 41 and 24 smashing it for his team all the prophecy players actually pulling their weight gunchy 36 and 30. yeah tommy the only player going negative well, well, on prophecy, he, but he's yeah. still got those yeah. captures got those defense yeah he's got the most captures on his team i mean at one point, it was Excellence doing like the big business, but then you saw like Gunshi and Swanee pick it up r during like the three quarter duration of that map. Yeah, and there he goes. Look, Swanee's aim is just something ridiculous. Yeah, it's uh, it's once again all the all the individual skill the players on this team just seem to be on another tier to the, to to Magma. Obviously, Magma are a really good, a really uh, yeah, a really good team. Obviously, they fought well to get to the position they're in now. But um, there does always come a stage for every team in a tournament where you just realize you're way in above your head, you're way outclassed. And, and maybe it could be that time for Magma, but we're going to wait and see. I don't think they think they're outclassed. But I mean, in the grand scheme of things, if they're positive, come out with a positive yep. outlook on this, this is a game where they gave them a good run for their money. They're only 40 points down. All they've got to do is keep their heads. It's search and destroy is all about teamwork. And um, if they, they need to move as a unit, like um, I believe Mac once said that EGL is um, when someone gets killed in search and destroy, you always have to be near your teammates so you can always get that kill to balance it all out again. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what Magma ne need to do. They need to move all as a unit, all in force, and not get separated or get in a position where they compromise other teammates. Yeah, it, it honestly is heavily about attitude when you go into a game like this. And um, especially for TCM, who after the next game are going to be going up against Fariko Impact. It's all about the exact game. And if they go into that attitude, and this was also something which uh, happened with Optic when they came into the EGL before, teams would go into the Optic game with the attitude that they'd already lost. Mm -hmm. And that is a major problem. When teams defeat themselves before they've even picked up their controllers, that's a big problem. And that's a lot to do with why Optic were practically unstoppable for such a large period of time. Teams had already decided that they were going to lose a Optic before they started playing. And that was no good for them. And uh, just talking to Monksy before, uh, before the tournament kicked off for today, he just said, you know, we were like, you're going to be able to beat Impact. And he was like, maybe, I don't know. You know, that's not the attitude. But if you, if you, know, if you ask that same question to Josh or Madcat, they'll be like, yeah, we're going to wreck them. You know, yeah. and, and that's the attitude. That's the attitude difference, which is why I guess TCM walked away with EGL8. Well, there's the attitude difference, and there's also like um, some teams feed off hype. Like yeah. um, you see, you see Fariko Dragons. Once they start, once they start screaming at each other and playing well, they like it pushes them to go even further. Whereas uh, I think we saw Millennium get demotivated against TEC. There's one point where they like, normally weren't even speaking to each other, and we've seen the French like they say when they're winning games, they say Zenfini, like you know mm -hmm. they they know they're gonna end this game, close it out, and they didn't feel like that against TEC uh, because of I feel what it was they lost three two to um, Epsilon last night on Main when they were two 0 up, and I yep. think that really did demotivate them. Now I see, they, yeah, they've I been obviously eliminated by TEC. Millennium, a team of such accomplished players, but once again, yeah, when when you're a team that strong and you come into an event, you don't expect to be losing. And when it happens, it is demoralizing. It puts you down, and it's just really disappointing for a team to happen. So I guess while we quickly wait for this Meltdown Search and Destroy to get started, 
Um, obviously, you are here on behalf of Deserto. You're here doing a lot of the coverage that we see, a lot of the interviews that we're seeing right now yeah, over well, on Deserto.net. I do, well, day one, I did um, a lot of the video editing. Yep. I do the pictures. I drag people in for interviews and everything. I did a few, I did a few interviews, but I am self-admittedly the worst. I mean, I, uh, I think, what was it? One of the staff members said, bring back Mike Kent, which I can agree with. But um, we've pulled in Mello, or Chris Marsh, Shaggy himself. And he has been, he's been a rock for us. He's been doing the interviews on the fly. We don't have to prepare anything for him. He's just so quick-witted. And he's made, for, he's made for great viewing. So if anyone wants to see some of the interviews from the event, if they just go on YouTube and type in DeSoto HD and look at the, I believe it's the EGL9 playlist, they'll see all the videos from... Magma, depending on who wins or loses this game. Okay. 